Happy new moon, beautiful souls. It's been a while that I haven't put a video. Um, there is like two that I recorded because I usually go live in Facebook that I haven't uploaded here. Um, but I wanted to talk about my experience because uh, my Kundalini energy go awaken on October 16. So... At the beginning of October, I started to look into uh, Kundalini and um, oh my God. <laughs> um, I did guided meditation, like those the one that you do when you go to sleep. I will say like five or six times. Then I did like two meditation during the day, like guided ones. And I was listening to music for about like two weeks, you know, high frequency or Kundalini awakening music. And then on the 16th, I mean, it was 15 to the 16th, but it was the morning that kind of transition, you know what I mean? And I was in my bed doing this guided meditation and I wasn't expecting anything. <sighs> So let me get the, what I have. That day I wasn't even trying. I was just trying to do a meditation because I do meditation at night. And this one popped out. And I was just like, oh, okay, let me do this one. And it was intense. So I was doing meditation in, here in this corner on my bed because I was sitting. Usually I meditate at night, you know, in my bed. But that day I was like, okay. And I was with. This, this is, uh, I have the Reiki symbols and I have like, you know, things for the seven chakras. So I was doing my meditation. I have another crystals around me. I don't remember because I have a lot of crystals. And after like maybe seven, eight minutes, I start feeling that hot, cold sensation coming from my spine and that tingling and my breath start going short and it was I'm not even gonna lie like I felt this sexual energy I think it was one of the most erotic moments that I ever have in my life considering that I was just meditating and I wasn't even thinking about that. You know, I was practicing celibacy for a few months. Um, I didn't want to have sex with nobody uh, because, you know, spirituality and all of that. I was trying to, like, wait for sacred um, partnerships, sacred sex and all of that stuff. So, by choice, I didn't want to, like, have sex with nobody. Uh, well, that changed a little bit because, like, you know, whatever. But that's another whole story. Um, I mean, I still think the same. The point of Shenji is because I broke my celibacy <laughs> for my birthday. But anyway, that's another whole topic. And, um, it was amazing. And my nipples started getting hard and I started getting moist. And it was amazing. Next thing you know, like, I didn't even touch myself. I hope that you're an adult for you watching this and I'm going too personal, but I want to just share the experience. Um, I felt the whole sensation and I'm glad that my roommate was not here. She was staying in her girlfriend house. So I was alone in my house because I know that was morning and things like it was so amazing. Like, I don't know my twin flame. I think I don't know. I, I have never had that connection. I, I haven't had that. But if it, that's what you experience in sacred or something. And I have practiced like tantric techniques by myself. Never with anybody else. And oh my God. Like it was intense but in a good way. Like I was trying to awake my kundalini energy but it, I wasn't trying to get like that like it was on a point that I keep going with the meditation and I wanted to kind of stop because I didn't want to have that explosion but I legit if I were to keep going I could have a crazy orgasm just by meditating and it was just so 
it's just so impressive and you know I'm gonna put this out there and people say like you know be careful what you do be careful with Kundalini because it can be painful whatever but I didn't know much about it I was just like okay I'm into chakras my third my, my ter eye is open so let's wait you know because I heard that you know I read too a little bit about like how you can manifest with that and that was my experience I'm sure there was a little more than that. Um, I have a little details, but you know, right now is November the 7th, so it's been a while. That's why I didn't want to delay no more and make this video. Uh, I would like to know what was your experience because one thing is what you read, one thing is what you actually go through. And it was good, but like, oh my God, like, I wanted to touch myself so bad. I'm not even going to lie. I did a little bit, but I was just like, whatever. But it's just, how can you just activate and feel so many things just by taking conscious, rhythmic, breathe, breathing and connecting? And I saw some visions and I saw in a moment a flashback of Egyptian energy and I saw all these colors of me like a little explosion coming from my crown chakra and I really oh my god like it's amazing I haven't done it again <laughs> um and I think that's the reason why I happened what happened in my birthday because I always been a like really sexual person, but like for the longest, I've been so into meditation and stuff like that. That I don't think it's nothing wrong. You have to explore and know your body, but I wasn't like masturbating. I wasn't having sex or anything. And right now, I'm not having sex again because this person is far away. But <laughs> but anyway, November. Well, right now it's past midnight, so it's November the eighth, two thousand. 18 a lot of things amazing happening i had to talk because i went today for my first uh moon cycle drum dancing and it was amazing it's an experience so i will make another video for that and i will definitely upload the ones that i did anyway you know beautiful souls you know how i say stay beautiful stay fearless be bold be wild own it and make it count